Hello, everybody, and welcome. This is how Irvine Valley College can assist you in meeting the, uh, the California Board of Accountancy educational requirements. This is part four about when can I actually sit for the CPA exam. So my disclaimer and copyright notice, the information and opinions in this presentation are those of the author only and not the author's employers or affiliated organizations, including but not limited to Irvine Valley College and the South Orange County Community College District. The presentation is for educational purposes only and does not constitute any legal or accounting advice whatsoever. This presentation is designed to assist students and CPA candidates with determining their educational requirement in the state of California via the California Board of Accountants. They will oftentimes refer to certain courses meeting the CBA educational requirements. Note that the CBA is the ultimate authority uh, in terms of whether or not a certain course meets the CBA requirements. So here we go. This is kind of our last part here in terms of going through in terms of when you should be sitting for the CPA exam. So I pulled this up previously, but I'm just going to kind of pull this up again, is that when we come over here and we look on page three of this handbook, you'll go through and you'll see the educational requirements. So to sit for the CPA exam, you need a bachelor's degree plus the accounting subjects and the business report. It's different than becoming licensed when you need the accounting and then the ethics studies, but to ethics study, but to become, to sit for the exam, you need these two parts here. And also remember when it comes to going through, you've got non-contingent and then for part A and B, but then you have contingent here. If you're going to finish your units within a certain period of time, you can basically apply for a contingent, which means that you're going to have to furnish them that you've got your bachelor's degree and your accounting and business units within about 180 days of that application submission. So let's kind of go back over here. So that's when you can sit for the exam, but let's kind of talk a little bit more importantly about um, as far as, you know, why is sitting and getting your education requirements done? Why is that so important? Well, the first thing is most employers, when you are pre pre uh, preparing a resume, you need to have on there when you're going to have the 150 semester units done. Why? It's because if you're working for a big four firm, they're going to work you probably over 70 hours a week. They do not want you attending classes while you are working for them. It's a now smaller firms, given the labor shortage right now, they're being a little bit more lenient. But again, your goal is you want to have the educational requirement done. You also want to get the CPA exam done. Very, very important, right? You want to get this exam over with. And again, the what will happen to you ultimately your career, it's just such a huge boost to where you're going. So uh, sitting versus licensure, right? So to sit, bachelor's degree, 120 semester units, bachelor's plus the, um, it's basically, it's the bachelor's plus the accounting subjects, business subjects to become licensed. It's the accounting study and then the ethics studies. Okay, so one of the things too is that, you know, becoming a certified public accountant is going to pay its pay for itself in a pretty short period of time because it's going to give you a lot of career flexibility. You're going to be able to move around from job to job. And the reason is, is when someone sees that you're a CPA, they know that you went through absolute heck in terms of going through and uh, academically because you had to pass that exam. Uh, they also know that, you know, if you do something evil, right? You're going to lose your license and none of us want to do that. The other thing I would say too, is that when you are, if you're an accounting major and you're not planning on taking the CPA, why do it? I mean, it's kind of like, you know, if you're going to go accounting, you need to become a CPA because the education will not be you know, your experience in education will not be recognized without that license. And if you're walking away with that, you know, that's the most important thing to do. Now, if you don't have the time to take all these classes, because like, look, 
this, what we're, what you're being asked to complete, this is a lot of time. And like, if I was like an English major or a anthropology major, you know, and I'm like looking to become a CPA, that's going to be a lot of work, right? So the enrolled agent may be the better way to go. So that's what I would kind of share with you is that, you know, just kind of depends on where you are. And, you know, look, again, the example I used previously, and I can, I can share with you a few of them. There was a, I met with a friend of mine and it was his former coworker and she had arthritis and I witnessed her falling off a chair at a restaurant locally. And it was very painful because, you know, she was so stressed out of her job because she was, um, you know, she was being like worked to death and, you know, because she wasn't a CPA, but she was like the CFO person, the chief financial officer, had she left that job, she would have been lucky to make, you know, a third of what she was making. So there's a trap and that trap is that employers pay you money, but they know you can't leave. If you're a CPA, you're going to have that career flexibility because the moment you say, oh, I'm available on the recruiting websites, people go nuts. So again, if you're working, if you're planning on being an accounting in the long term, and if you were an accounting major, you want to get the license. And again, this is how IVC can help you. Um, we're here to help you. Um, and actually, you know, I've helped many students, not necessarily just from IVC, but from everywhere, because again, I want to see you become a CPA. That's much more exciting to me than, you know, I like teaching accounting, but seeing my former students uh, become CPAs is very, very special to me. So again, uh, if you have questions, please, please feel free to reach out to me. Um, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you have any feedback, leave them in the comments below, or please feel free to send it to me at 1812cpa at gmail.com. Thank you for being with me here today. And hopefully I will see you in a future course at Irvine Valley College. One last thing is that if you can't get into one of my classes and you're watching this video, um, feel free to message me or feel free to send me an email and I will see what I can do. Um, remember that if you're a California resident, it's going to be, I think it's right now, it's about 46 bucks a unit. But if you're out of state, it's almost like 335. But again, whatever I can do to help you, um, I'm here. And I look forward to seeing you on the next video. Have a great day.